I don't know what you do after work every single day, but I typically tend to sit on the sofa and like put on the TV and just zone out and then hours are gone. And I don't know where those hours went because I've just been zoning out and dissociating. So I've decided that I'm gonna have an old checklist. So I made a checklist today as I was leaving work of things to do and I decided to hold myself accountable I'm gonna take you along with me for all of those things. It's just gonna be a vlog of like, let's hang out and do things together. So already got gas for my car, and now I am in the craft store parking lot because I've been wanting to try my hand at crocheting, and I've been giving myself like excuses of like, oh, I'll do that later, but like no time like the present, right? So I'm going to go in there, yarn is on sale. I'm gonna pick up some yarn. There's so much yarn to choose from. This one's really pretty. So I just barely made it to the bank. I spent more time looking at all the yarn than I thought I would. And also specifically like looking at all the fabric than I thought I would. So let me show you. I only picked out one thing of yarn. So I was going to pick out more, but I thought, well, if I don't like this, if I don't like crocheting, I don't want to have spent more money than just like three bucks. So this is the crochet hook that I picked up. The wooden one. So they had all different types. They had some metal, some plastic, some that like this was the only wooden one. They had some that looked like like a toothbrush. And I thought like if I like crocheting, but I'm finding it hard to like grip this, I might go back and get those because those seemed like they would be pretty easy to grip. I used to do needlework. And the reason that I don't anymore is because like my hands shake now and I have trouble like with like feeling sometimes in my hands and like gripping things. So like if this one doesn't work, I will go back and get that one. And I decided to get this teal yarn because teal is my favorite color and it comes with so lovely of them it comes with this pattern on the back I'm not going to crochet or I guess this is knitting as well crochet or knit myself a sweater but nice of them to include a pattern also like I mentioned in the car I also want to start working with fabric and specifically like creating fabric sculptures and doing things like like with starch and things like overly starching things to create sculptures anyway they have these i was just going to price yes i got a, a teal lame i was just going to price fabric and then i realized that they have these like fabric remnants like offshoots of whenever they cut at a really affordable price and I had a whole bunch of different textures so I had like a um a vegan leather pleather so I had a, a like a pleather um I also had a duck cotton regular cotton some linen some chambray like mesh all of this and I was going to like use these small ones to see exactly which piece I want it to work with to buy the bigger ones in the upcoming months but I put the rest back because I figured those I think will kind of always be there especially like the cotton and linen blends but this one I don't know if it'll be there again this, this only costs three dollars and 38 cents which isn't bad considering I'm just going to like cut a square see how it does in fabric starch to see like how easy it is to mold this type of fabric now that that is done mini haul shared went to the bank thankfully yeah I said that thankfully got there before it closed I was able to cash some checks I'm going to start on the rest of my list I have to clean out my fridge and freezer. I think I might just do my freezer today and do the fridge later um, just because this is horrible of me and I know it's horrible of me but food waste. Food waste is something that I really do want to cut down on this year. It's one of like my main goals of this year to cut down on food waste. Yeah to save money but also like I feel bad that I'm wasting the food. It happens and so I have I actually don't think I've cleaned out my fridge or freezer in since December, November, beginning mid of December, I got really sick. Tonsillitis, yay. Didn't do a like monthly reset for December, only did like a really brief reset for January, like going into the new year. I just like cleaned into the floors. So I have some other things. So I guess this is sort of like mini monthly reset with the things that I need to do. So I'm going to do that, I guess first, because the sun's gonna go down soon and I don't wanna walk to the dumpster way in the corner in the dark. So I decided to reorganize it a bit. I have meat, grains, pizza, <laughs> also some vegetables, and this is banana bread and frozen bananas to make some banana ice cream. All right, so it was a full garbage bag full, and I do feel bad. Some of that stuff, though, and I know that this isn't an excuse, but last year, I think, 
I mean, it had to be last year. I've only been in this apartment for a year. But last year in April, May, somewhere around there, our electricity went out for an entire day. I think it's because they were doing yard work, not yard work, road work, a street over. So like the whole complex, or at least my building, lost power for a day. And the stuff stayed cold in the fridge and it stayed like most of it stayed cold in the freezer but there was a lot of stuff like the berries and fruits and things like that that defrosted and so even though it refroze once I like once the electricity got turned back on I checked it and it refroze I didn't feel safe really eating it and I kind of forgot about it so I never actually threw it away. That was a lot of that sort of thing, like just a lot of fruits for smoothies and things like that. So now it is time to do my monthly unclogging my drain. Super glamorous. I know my hair falls out a lot. I mean, I'm sure you've seen on videos. So my hair falls out. So I have to like every single month pretty much unclog the drain. Had to change into my at home ensemble though if you're ever watching videos and you're like why is Teresa wearing the same sweater in almost every single video like yes I know purple looks good on me I get that comment a lot in the videos but it's because it's part of my at home rotation today's different because I like wanted to quickly get something done but usually like I have to I call it the Mr. Rogers effect when I get home I have to change my clothes just like he would change his like cardigan jacket jackets cardigan or just cardigan into another cardigan I have to change once I get home that doesn't look right or good it's not going down at all the stopper doesn't remove like it's supposed to I usually use Drano not liquid plumber I hope that it works well but Drano was the only one or liquid plumber was the only one at the store that had the hair eliminator gel so hopefully it works. Ooh. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to eat a snack of peanut butter. I didn't need lunch today. Well, I ate a cucumber and some pretzels. The lunch, I don't know why, the lunch packs, like the little ice packs, didn't keep my lunch cold at all. Whenever I went to like take a bite of my sandwich, it was like stone room temperature, like not even cool at all. The cucumbers were still a little cool, so that's why I ate them, but I was like, mmm. Mm, I have a bit of a like I have a bit of a tricky stomach so I thought like mm, that's that's probably not the best so didn't get to eat lunch so definitely going to enjoy this peanut butter and I'm going to film today's short so I'm filming this on Monday I will be posting that short down below in the comments in case you did want to check it out February is going to be separated into two things as far as my art shorts until Valentine's Day I'm going to do Valentine's Day themed art and then until Mardi Gras from Valentine's Day to Mardi Gras it'll be more so Mardi Gras themed so here's the first one he's a little sketch of a little heart a little cartoon character that I am working on. So this is the second time that I've sketched him. First time it was just done with highlighter. So that's the first time that I sketched the heart and the second time with a little more color. I think I'm going to try the third time with some marker and see how that works. All right, so while I was painting though, timer did ring for, I set the um, the Drano liquid plumber, whatever it's called. I set it for a half an hour instead of just 15 minutes. Like it says, because it, it, it wasn't dissolving. It wasn't going into the drain. So let's see. Ooh, strong. Let's see exactly how that looks. Seems to have worked very good. So next on my list, and not really something I do for a monthly reset, just something I've been meaning to do. I have a whole bunch of skincare. Like with the exception of my makeup bag over there, everything here is skincare. Most of this was sent to me in PR. It's sent to me to try out and review and post and you know, things like that. But I've only kept the things that really work. And it's a, it's a sight there. I don't really like seeing it. So I have this that this basket that was being used for some makeup. So I just threw it out of there. I'm gonna put it back into my drawer system that I have in the chest for the makeup where I keep my makeup. And I'm going to see if all of this fits. And so I can just like put it all in the corner. While I put everything in here, let's do a little impromptu skincare review. Like real quick, all clean green foam from Hymish. I like this one. It's not necessarily my favorite one. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it whenever I'm done with it. And then one that I do think that I would repurchase is 
from Sirius, Cyrus, Cyrus. Let me refresh. And this is a foam cleanser with LHA in it. Both are really gentle on the skin, I find, but I find that this one does a little bit more. Low recipe. I've been using this for a few years. I do really, really love this one. And more than likely, we'll repurchase it. This one is from Dr. Different, and it's the Hyaluron Cool Soothing Toner. Really like this one as well. This essence from Tokobo is the by Ooh. Bifida? Bifida? Biome Essence. I like this one. I find that it is really moisturizing. Not sure if I would repurchase it though. And then the Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence from Dr. Suricle. I definitely would repurchase this one. I really do like that one. And the newest to my collection from Haruharu Wonder, Orange Blossom Liquid Serum. I do like that one. I absolutely love and would repurchase from Tacobo. This is the Vita Beta Pure Pore Toner. Vita Berry Pore Toner. Whew, there we go. This one is beautiful. And I feel bad putting this one in a basket because it is gorgeous. Also love this one from Tokobo and would repurchase it. This is just a basic multi-ceramide cream. Also, look at that packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? From Dear Clars, this is the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I will leave in the description box down below the review that I did that featured this and some of the other products in here. From Rovectin, the Sika Care Sleeping Pack. Like this one, kind of of irritates my skin just a little bit, but I do like it. And then from Neogen, the V-Biome Soothing Cream. I really do like this one. Probably wouldn't repurchase it though, just because I really don't like the smell of it. This is from Dr. Sturm. This face cream, I love this face cream, but it is so luxury. Ever know if it would be in my budget again to re like to purchase it. Or I say budget again. The Dr. Strom things were sent to me in PR, so I don't think it would ever be in my budget to purchase that. This hyaluronic serum from Dr. Strom is, it's okay. I have better ones for a lot cheaper, but I am enjoying it. Speaking of better ones from a, for a lot cheaper, from Isnatri. These are their hyaluronic acid water essence. This is their old packaging, and I have a newer packaging here which I haven't opened and I probably will just put this in a drawer since it hasn't been opened. So watery oil from Dear Claire's. This is really nice to put on top of everything at night just to kind of seal everything in. I am obsessed with this stuff from Ferdia. This is the pomegranate multi-moisturizing serum and this is for like anti-aging. I swear to you, this, when I use this consistently, changes the shape of my face. Like it tightens around my like jaw area, Ch changes the shape, obsessed. This is one that I did purchase from Versed. This is the um, retinol that I use. It has retinol and bacotiol in it. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, it's an encapsulated retinol, so it's really effective with the bacotiol, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, let me know in the comments down below. It's really effective, but also really gentle. In the vegan kombucha tea line from Dr. Cyrical, uh, this is their gel cream. Really do enjoy this one. A moisture mask from Yves Long. I swear there was something else from Yves Long because I, I thought I had three things and I only have two currently and I know I didn't use the other one up. I wonder what it was or where it is. This is their cleanser, the Yves Long cleanser that I don't use all that often, but I really do like it whenever I use it. A standout product to me from Heimish, this is the All Clean Balm. So it is an oil balm, an oil cleanser in balm form, let me say. Really do enjoy that one. More than likely we'll repurchase it whenever it uh, sells out. Current under eye cream, probably won't repurchase this. I really do like it. It's from Ule Hendrickson and it's the Banana Bright Plus eye cream. Uh, I I mean, I'm enjoying this one. To me, it's not worth the price. I'm sure that I could find something a little cheaper somewhere. This though, I do plan to repurchase when I do run out from Dr. Different. I'm using it just on my eye. As you can see, I do have psoriasis outbreaks every so often on my neck. This is a retinol under eye treatment. Burrito. This is the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. I'm not sure if it was meant to be a dupe of this, but this works just as well, if not better than the Tatcha Water Cream at a fraction of the price. The love of my life from La Roche-Posay. Sika Plast, this is the fourth time I'm doing this take, Balm B5. Yay, not too bad, looks a bit better. 
And that's about all I can do for today. I know that I had a lot more on my list, but one of the other things that I'm trying to work on, not to be too hard on myself because like with my health thing, and I'm gonna talk about it, I think in another video because it's been weighing heavy on me with the blood clot, all of that, I've been hard on myself. Like one of my friends when, you know, she keeps asking like, oh, how are you doing? And you know, I, I, I tell her honestly, like how I'm doing. She's like, well, I hope you're giving yourself grace. I never do. I give other people grace, but I really don't give myself grace and neither do other people. People? Like that's the sort of thing of like, I feel like people have like set a time limit of like, it's been X amount of months, you should be 100% better. And like, I've internalized that I give, I've given myself that time limit too. I am feeling better, but I do take it like day by day sort of thing. But like, for example, now there's more on the list and I know I have to do those things, but I'm also like dead exhausted because it's a Monday. It was a busy Monday. So like, I'm happy that I got done what I got done and didn't just sit on the sofa and just do absolutely nothing, which still would have been okay because that would have been rest. But you know, I'm glad that I was able to get a few things done. There's still more, it'll be there for tomorrow. I will get them done tomorrow or maybe Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. I am going to heat up some dinner. It's well past, maybe I won't eat up, heat up some dinner. The sun's gone down, but it's not even six o'clock yet. I was gonna say it's well past six or seven. No, I haven't taken my don't die medicine for the nighttime yet. So no, it's not past six o'clock. Yeah, it's kind of time for me to start like winding the evening down because I that 4 a.m. alarm is gonna ring really early tomorrow. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and sharing a little bit of your day with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you in another video soon.